want you to realize that whatever you decide you want in life, that's anything, that you can get it. You can get it. Since I was very little, as ridiculous as it is to admit, my biggest dream in life has been to have a great love, like my grandparents gag and tap. It was a relentless, lifelong love, and from a very young age, it was an example of what I wanted. While our generation has seen and gone through so much upheaval in the country over the last few years, Max and Anna are just living their lives like a rock of stability in a chaotic storm of a world. Uh, before I had children, I had this conviction, which I thought was perfectly reasonable, that um, uh, children ruin your life, which um, made sense. So I hold her for the first time, and these two big saucer-like eyes lock right onto mine. <laughs> and she was utterly calm. I felt like she was saying, it'll be okay. <laughs> we'll get through this. To have won the heart of a woman who has seen every romantic movie from Shrek to Brokeback Mountain is no easy feat. But we're here tonight because Max has done just that. Although I can't fully explain it, Max just makes sense for Anna. Not only am I so happy to have such a great role model as a sister, but I'm so happy to see how happy you two are together. You two are the inspiration for what love should look like. The way you complement each other in every way, the way you continue to grow together and radiate your shared love to everyone around you. May you respect each other's individual personality and perspective and give each other room to grow in fulfilling your dreams. As many people here know, Max is a little on the quiet side. He can be a little shy and closed off at times, and I would say because of that, not many people truly know Max. But those who do are extremely lucky. And knowing and loving you, Max, has truly been the greatest pleasure of my life so far. Sometimes when you talk about our future kids, you tense up as if the love can't wait to pour and pour out. Now I can't imagine the static monotony of a life without you in it. I'm sure we will face many hardships. I can't promise to fix all the problems we come across, but I do promise that you will never have to face them alone. And I promise to listen, to always know your wishes and your worries, I promise to continue combining our dreams, forming with you a life for both of us equally. I promise to remember. Every day I will choose this life with you, this easy, relentless love that I've always dreamed of. With the sweetest, most charming, brain-loving, crossword puzzle-doing, gin-drinking, life-loving ginger there ever was. <laughs> it is my honor to declare you husband and wife. Max, you may kiss the bride. As a parent, one is concerned that their child might be diminished somehow when they're all in, in a relationship like the one Anna and Max have. But I haven't found that to be the case. They help each other. They are opposites in so many ways, but they share the same values. They encourage and help each other, making up for the other's weaknesses. Throw passion for each other into the mix, and you have a rock solid relationship where shit gets done. <laughs> In my 10 year old mind, all Anna cared about was what smooth talking, not very bright, slimy boys thought of her. There was no greater proof of this than when we watched a movie, a movie with a happy ending. And then she would cry. I would watch her watching the movies, and I would see. This didn't stop at movies. It extended to TV shows, course plays, an anecdotal story from a friend, and most distinctly and bizarrely, the time in the car when she sang a song silently to herself and cried. <laughs> I've never seen Max so happy, so generous, so confident, so loving, and anywhere near as fashionable as he has been <laughs> since dating you. <laughs> When Max first came among us in our uh, kind of chaotic, blended family, uh, what came to mind, the image that came to mind was, um, I don't know if it's a barnacle or a mollusk. I mean this in a good way, Max. Um, 
uh, the, you know, those things that like cling to the rock wall happily while the waves are crashing all around. Um, and he was determined to fit in in his way. And he did, and in a remarkably short time, he was part of us. He was, uh, and has been for a long time. I'd spent my whole life watching Anna, always primed to react to whatever infuriating thing she was going to say or do. But despite all the amazing trips and incredible experiences we've been so lucky to have, the one thing that shaped the most was Anna. His round face and his rosy cheeks and crazy, crazy, wild, curly red hair that's all over the place. And these piercing blue eyes that just would look at the world with such wonder. So I don't think I'm going to shed many tears today because I'm losing nothing. Anna's become a better, more well-rounded person. And now I have Max, who I love. You've worked so hard and accomplished so much and now you get to start another chapter of your life with someone you love who's perfect for you. And again, I get to be a part of it. You and Anna are beautiful together, and I hope you both have a wonderful life together because you deserve that. Anna might be the obvious romantic, but after seeing the way you look at Anna, it's clear you've been the ideal subtle romantic to match her all along. That's really what she's always crying about in the movies. It isn't the big romantic gestures or the over-the-top dialogue. Anna always cries the hardest at the happy endings. So here's to hers. To Max and Anna, um, to a life of love and happiness, peace, joy, good music, um, lots of laughter, and many, many children. As they say in Quebecois and in Montreal, Lachaim. Anna, know that my love is truly yours for good. Our grandchildren will swoon over our example. I will love you when you change and when you don't. And as needed, I will work endlessly on us. I know who you are. I'm so lucky to know who you are, and I'm ready.